Hi, I'm Eric Bame, Curator of Aviation here at the Intrepid Museum. And today we're going to take a look at one of the most iconic aircraft in American military history, McDonald F-4 Phantom II. A direct follow-up to McDonald's single-engine Demon, the Phantom was designed over 60 years ago to meet a specification for a high-performance carrier-borne fighter bomber. Though designed for the U.S. Navy, the Phantom II became one of the very first airplanes to be adopted by the other military services as well. Capable of speeds up to Mach 2 or 1,500 miles an hour, it was originally designed without guns or cannons and relied only on guided missiles. Designers were confident that Sparrow and Sidewinder missiles made cannons unnecessary. Guns were later added internally to U.S. Air Force versions, and the Navy added external gun pods. In addition to four AIM-9 Sidewinder and four AIM-7 Sparrow missiles, it could carry 18,650 pounds of various types of air-to-ground missiles, bombs, and rockets. The Phantom II, serving with U.S. Air Force, Navy, and Marine Corps squadrons in Vietnam, achieved legendary status. But the aircraft was too large and too heavy to serve aboard carriers of the Essex class like Intrepid. One, however, did land on Intrepid mistakenly. And of course, in true Navy tradition, it was all graffitied up, refueled, and sent back to its home carrier. Due to its speed, maneuverability, and other capabilities, the F-4 Phantom II was extraordinarily popular with pilots. Eventually, 5,200 would be built for use in the United States and 11 foreign nations. The experiences with the F-4 Phantom II laid the groundwork for the next generation of fighters, F-15s, F-16s, F-18s, and even the generation that would follow them, your F-22s and F-35s. For more behind-the-scenes videos, visit intrepidmuseum.org.